Which of these is software commonly... on your phone if you'd like to now remember don't get caught in a savage question or even a brutal one without the security of an extra life you can use up to three in a single game now buy one right now if you see it on your screen you can also buy extra lives throughout the game by tapping on the hearts icon below okay only rule is you can't use them on prize questions or after question 12 either q2 bumblebees typically feast on what part of a flower petals nectar stems those friendly and fuzzy bees fumbling around you tapped on stems that was a tasteless choice give me that honey and give me that money is nectar of course 244,000 if you're going for the sweet stuff bumblebees don't make as much honey as honeybees of course but they're way more robust large in girth and a whole lot hairier that's something to boast about isn't it for those bumblebees q3 the element known as fool's gold is technically what rose gold copper pyrite don't be fooled by the fake gold because all that glitters is not gold and this stuff is not worth half as much. Pyrite, are you right? 202,000 of you are. Pyrite is an iron sulfide and the most common of these sulfide minerals is known as fool's gold because you'd have to be a complete idiot to think that's a real thing. Doesn't even really look like it. Q4, which of these terms refers to a recognizable grouping of stars? Asteroid, asterism, asterisk. Hopefully you won't be saying hasta la vista on this one. If you went for asterisk, you took a foolish risk there and it did not pay off. Asterism is the answer we were looking for. All right, 139,000 of you knew that. Now you may know what the Big Dipper looks like, right? But did you know it's not technically a constellation? Unofficial groupings of stars are actually called, that's right, asterisms. Yeah, interesting stuff. Q5. Which of these celebrity chefs was first known as the Naked Chef? Jamie Oliver, Nigella Lawson, Curtis Stone. Really? The Naked Chef? What, they want to get their kit off, did they? Well, we wouldn't really have a problem with any of them being naked, right? Looking like a snag is Jamie Oliver is the correct answer here. 153,000 of you keeping your clothes on. Kennedy's first show was called The Naked Chef because of his stripped down recipes. He just declared bankruptcy, sadly, but I'm sure he'll be back quicker than a snack attack. Q6. Which of these is considered a botanical nut? Macadamia, Brazil nut, chestnut. They're all quite tasty, though, aren't they? A nutty flavor fold. Yes, me. all three are often described as nuts, but which is the only one that's not an imposter here? It's a mm. chestnut. Chestnut, we were looking. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, that is a completely savage question. 130,000 of you gone, 47,000 of you holding on tightly. That was nutty. Botanically speaking, a macadamia is a fruit, a Brazil nut is the seed of a capsule. The chestnut is the real deal here. But they're all yummy in my tummy. That's right, Q7. What is the use of tempera in art? A scene is this in the painting right here. Take a look at that. Yeah, pretty picture, isn't it? Large scale, egg binding or warm colors. What does tempera, what's the use of tempera in that pretty I'm picture right you, I don't know. there that you just saw? Yeah, I guess the... Hmm. What could it be? Well, we're talking tempera, people, not tempora, although it's probably just as edible. Because it's egg binding. Yes, right. And 56,000 of you are binded to the game. This painting technique used egg yolks and was a big what deal back in the 12th to 15th century before oil paint killed the tempera star. It was sad. All right, Q8. The lead of which TV show made their acting debut in the Disney Channel original. Gotta kick Nothing. it up. Crazy ex-girlfriend, Jane the Virgin, or Ugly Betty. Three yeah, hit shows. Okay. Right? 
Uh, if you work for crazy ex-girlfriend, it's going to drive you nuts to know it was ugly uh. Betty. And you're looking pretty, pretty right there. 39,000 of you are. Yes, America Ferreira got her start with Disney, just like every other huge star in this world. Shoot, I shouldn't have turned down that role in Bizarre Vark. My bad. Now, don't forget, if you get this question right, it's a prize question, this next one, you'll have to make a choice. Either take the money or keep moving forwards towards that $150,000 jackpot. Good luck on this one, players. Let's do it. It's Q9. Which of these words are used to refer to both male and female children? Boy, girl, neither. Boy, girl, or neither? Boy? Both male and female grouped together? Or who no, runs the world? Neither, I... You know it. Before the 1400s, we all used to be called girls. Oh, oh yeah, I like that answer. Oh, another savage right here on Q9 on this prize question. Know. That was a savage right there because 40,000 of you are gone. Just 9,482 of you are still standing. Yeah, what's that jingling? Well, it sounds like cold hard cash to me. If you got this right, mm -hmm. I've got something you are going to like. Quite the offer right now for 9,482 of you. 27 cents. That is what I'm offering from the bank right now. Remember, four more questions until the next prize question, okay? Want to take that money and run or stick around for the big one? It looks like a bit Make of your choice and stick front, to it. 27 cents. Okay, 3,473 of you have decided to take that dough. All right, you are all HQ winners tonight. Well done to you and the rest of you. We're moving on to Q10, so let's do it. What did Mama Cass allegedly sing instead of I began to pray in California dreaming? I ran and played. I pretend to pray. I found a way. Yeah, she got the words wrong. Well, sometimes we just make up our own lyrics, don't we? And apparently singers do the same on other people's songs. Keeping it real. It's like pretend to pray. 4,886 of you not pretending, though. The Mamas and the Papas sang the best-known version of this song, but it turns out Mama Cass didn't even know it herself. But you did. All right. Q11, the director of Broadway's The Lion King, also directed which of these Shakespearean movies? Hamlet, Titus Andronicus, or... A fellow, The Lion King, it's pretty incredible. Yes, yeah, the last Broadway show I checked out, brought to us courtesy of Julie Tamor, who is also behind Titus Andronicus. You trivia titans knew that, 3,847 if you did. Yes, Tamor brought us the Broadway mega hit, but also the Hollywood flop, Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. Ah, uh, we turned it off all right. Ah, for good. Remember, guys, this is your last chance to use your extra lives. They won't work after Q12. Here goes. Which of these gems contains the fewest elements? Sapphire, diamond, ruby. Ooh, I like, I like these stones. My precious. <laughs> I'll take any of these gems if you are offering, but this one's simply the most stunning. Yeah, it's diamond, of course. 3,819 of you shining brightly. Diamonds are the only stone here comprised of a single element. That element is carbon. And the only stone I'll ever claim is my bestie. A shiny prize question coming your way right now on Q13. Which movie stars the oldest female artist to top Billboard's Hot 100? Evita, The Way We Were, or Moonstruck? Oldest female to make it to the top number one spot. No, we weren't talking about the legend Madonna, but you will cry for Argentina if you did not tap. Moonstruck. You're over the moon if you did. 1,626 of you did, but we lost over half of you there. Cher topped the charts at 52 oh years old with Believe. Now, can you believe we're handing out free cash right now? What do you believe is going to be the right choice for you? Take the cash and run or stick around for the big one. We're offering $1.24 to 1,625 players. That's a nice amount of change, actually. It's a tough choice to make. So what are you going to go with, the cash, or are you going to stick around, see if you can head towards that 150 k Okay, 727 players chose to take $1.24 HQ winners tonight. Well done to all of you. All right, rest of you, let's do it. Q14, which of these famous doctors does not have a medical degree? Dr. Phil, Dr. Seuss, Dr. Martins, who's not an MD. 
here, medical doctor. Ah, you might need a session with Dr. Phil if you picked him here. Cash me outside, how about that? It's Dr. Seuss. Oh, wow, it's another savage. Another savage, 700 down. 123 of you got that correct. Yes, Dr. Seuss is on the loose without a medical degree. He wrote the footbook, but can't help you with your bunions, I'm afraid. Go see Doc Martens for that. They might cause some, actually. Q15. This inauguration dress was controversial. For what reason? Take a look at that. Look familiar? Why was that controversial, though? Because it was a foreign designer, it was worn already, or arms on display. Yeah, there was outrage over this dress, but why? What do you think? Well, if you were for arms on display, you need your eyes checked out. The dress was worn already. You are dressed to impress right now. 37 of you are. Rosalind Carter looks stunning, but she was thrifty. She opted for the same duds. Yeah, people accused her of being tacky and just think those were the days before Twitter. Nowadays, she'd be cancelled. Q16, which of these sitcoms was not based directly on a British TV show, Sanford and Son, All in the Family, The Times. Yeah, you like our British TV shows, don't you? You copy them a lot. America lets us experiment with the bizarre shows and then takes the best ones. This was your own, though. It's good times. You're having a good time right now. 26 of you are. Okay, well done. Stepford and Son was based on Steptoe and Son. Good Times was a spin-off of Maud, which was a spin-off of All in the Family. We're keeping it in the fam HQ fam right now. Here's the prize question coming your way here on Q17. Let's go. Which of these European capitals is closest to London? Amsterdam, Paris, Brussels. I know, I know. My answer? No, not yet. All right, I'll wait. Now, you know how to tell which is closest to London. It has the same sucky weather. Brussels is what we were talking about. You can stand under my umbrella. 14 of you got it correct. Time to capitalize on some cash. I've got a stash to tempt you with right now, but you have to make that tough choice. Take it and run or go after the big one. All right. We're offering $230.77 to 13 players. The next prize is four questions away. What are you going to do? That is a good amount of cash for a hump day. That is for sure. There's a tempting offer. 12 players have chosen to take that $230.77. Awesome stuff, guys. The rest of you, all right, you're brave. Q18, which of these songs did John Lennon and Elton John perform together? Lennon's final concert performance. Imagine I saw her standing there or oh, come together. Must have been epic. If you went for Imagine, you'll just have to imagine what victory tastes like. I saw her standing there. Are you still standing? Oh, nobody. Nobody got that correct. Oh, that was unfortunate. We just had one player left. They went for Come Together. That was sad. You missed out on $230, but you are a brave soul. Yes, you are. Lottie, you made some money tonight. That was epic plays. You aced it, HQTs. Tons of winners tonight at various levels and loads of cash. Well, snagged. Yes, it was. Now, you came, you played, you slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter. Hit me on the socials, okay? Here's where to find me. Stop by, say hi. Always a fun time with you guys. And, of course, we're back tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern with... Pixar trivia. Well, half Pixar trivia, that is. Don't miss the fun and games. I will be back on Friday, so I will see you then. Friday, all right? Bye!